<laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. What, what was that? You, you don't have time to exercise. <laughs> you and me need to go for a little drive. is not ladylike. Oh. Today we're here to talk about my breasts and actually <laughs> motivation. So I brought you to the place which holds the most motivation for me. My gym. And I apologise because there's too much wind, there are sirens, there's too much background noise, there's crows, there's kids, but... My hair looks great against this tree, so I'm gonna stay here. <laughs> I get asked every day on a daily basis great one Lauren how do I stay motivated how can I start my journey what made you stay motivated how can I start my journey when's the right time to start my journey blah, blah, blah. that's what I'm gonna answer for you today a lot of people like the soft love approach I'm not about that I'm not about that life this is about tough love and this is about a motivational punch in the face so if you're ready for it then fine carry on watching if not then we'll watch it anyway so it's gonna be awesome tip number one would be that you will never be ready to start your journey Things will never be lined up, ducks will never be in a row, and you will never feel 100% ready. But you need to start where you are, start with what you've got, and just do it. Just start. I don't mean start by cutting out all the crap you eat. Moving your body four times a, four, four times a day, uh, four hours a day, um, quitting smoking, quitting all these things all in one go, because that is just a recipe for disaster. When I say start, all I mean is starting small, I'm going to get to that in a minute but for instance just start by cutting out your sugar in your coffee or cutting out soda or cutting out a weekly drive through takeaway you eat I don't know what you do I'm not I'm not a stalker tip number two realize that none of your excuses are valid I haven't got time it's too expensive I feel embarrassed I don't have a gym membership everyone will laugh at me F all of those things because none of them are going to help you, none of them are valid, and none of them are going to help you get to your goal. All of them are products of fear that we all have, but it just means that you are putting up a barrier of what you want from what you are doing right now. If you say to yourself, I haven't got enough time, it's just like saying to yourself that you're not a priority until you make yourself a priority in your life and you think that you are worth it and that you as a person are worth this effort and change then nothing is going to happen you need to accept yourself i'm not saying you need to love yourself you need to accept where you are number three is put in effort this can be anything from making the effort when you go out for a family meal to choose a healthier option or if you have a burger to take off the bun or if you have a burger take out the chips and swap it to sweet potato chips <laughs> just little bits of effort little bits i'm gonna say effort so many times in this video we could make a drinking game out of it what is this it's not about perfection it's about effort and if you put in effort every day that's when you thank you that's when you start to see change and that's when you start to see results in your body number four don't listen to that niggly voice in your head. The one that tells you that you want to eat loads of food. The one that tells you that your body's tired and you should stop walking now. The one that tells you you're not good enough. The one that tells you you don't deserve it. The one that tells you that everyone's gonna laugh at you. The one that tells you everyone's gonna look at you. 
let me tell you for a fact if you're working out nobody's looking at you and even if they do so what so what if somebody's looking at you they're probably thinking good on her good on her for getting or him good on them for getting off their bum I wish I could do that never give two craps about what anyone thinks of you you didn't gain the weight overnight you are not going to lose the weight overnight so take little steps little bits of effort itchy nose number five be patient we're human beings we want things yesterday but you've got to remember you did not put this weight on overnight and you're not going to lose it overnight so even if you eat clean for two days you're not going to jump on the scale and see the fact you've lost 10 pounds it's just not going to happen results take a long time to see but that doesn't mean that you should suddenly think oh, i'm not doing it anymore because i haven't seen my clothes still fit the same i'm not doing this i'm not doing that i haven't seen any weight loss on the scale number one you shouldn't really even be weighing yourself more than once a week maximum go on how your clothes feel take your measurements be patient this is a lifestyle change number six this is a marathon it's not a race this is your whole life we're thinking about here you're you're gearing yourself up you're making steps and you're making changes to live your rest of your life as the best you you can and you're not going to get that with a quick fix you're not going to get that with uh, like a slim fast diet or a shake diet or a diet chef or something crap like that you get that from changing your habits you get that from changing what you're doing right now sorry i got chilly why is there a siren you need to accept the fact this journey is going to take a bloody long time and that's okay because you're changing into a new person you're obviously watching this video because you want to change so therefore the choices that you've made in your life have brought you to be somebody who you want to change and that's absolutely fine because i was in the completely same position but you need to accept that everything you are is your choice so if you want a better outcome you've just got to choose a better choice number seven there is no secret there is no secret pill there is no secret that all the weight loss people know that we're not telling anyone else the only two secrets are accept yourself as you are right now without that no change is going to happen until you accept who you are right this moment no matter what you weigh whether you weigh 500 pounds 400 pounds 300 pounds 200 pounds whatever you're not gonna get to where you want to be doing what you're doing right now. Eight. It's really windy. There's sirens, there's a helicopter. Be kind to yourself. It is so easy when you see other people's social media, when you see other people in real life to compare. Comparison is the quickest form of misery. I, saw, I read that the other day and it is so true. Because even I do it. I saw some bikini clad girl the other day and I made myself feel really bad about it. I was like, I'm never gonna look like that. I'm always gonna have like wobbly bits. I'm always gonna da 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 da. And then I thought to myself, how would I feel if I, if my old self knew I was thinking about that like that now? How would she feel if she knew I was going <laughs> when I look so different? How I stay motivated is a really great question. I think it's because I love the life I lead now. I love putting on certain clothes, I love seeing my bum in certain clothes, I love my life now, I love my friends, I love, there's a lot of love there and I think that's that's it, I just love, I'm so full of love now which is ridiculous, I used to be so sad and so depressed and I think because I've changed myself so much there's nothing in this world that would ever make me go back, don't get me wrong, I've had a massive slip up recently and I I'm heavier than I've been in a while but that's changed things have massively changed over the last couple of days and I'm ready to kick ass again which is why I'm making this video you don't need a gym anything all you need is a pair of trainers and if you don't even have trainers go swimming start anywhere move your body so I hope you've enjoyed this video today I hope the background noise wasn't too much and I hope it's a joy to edit as always um, please comment below if you like this type of video high five to being back on track keep losing keep smiling and i'll see you next week bye my leg is dead i'm sitting on a rock this hurts the stuff i do for you guys is unreal hi <laughs> going for a midnight walk 
Come on.